the growth of every Christian is depend on how they approach the word of the Lord. And today you have opportunity to listen to the word of the Lord from the mouth of his servant, Apostle Jesus Shama. Sit back and relax yourself and prayerfully listen to the word of the Lord. I believe you are going to be blessed. Read with me, please. Ready? One, two, read. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Let's read it one more time. One, two, go. For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. You know how much water is in the earth? The earth is about 70% water as we know and then about 30% land. And that I believe that may even be an old statistic because of things like global warming and the rest. Are we together now? Yes. That the ice is melting and eating into land and so there is more land space being chopped up by water right now. And the Bible says in that similitude, the knowledge he never said the glory of the Lord the knowledge of the glory of the Lord and I've taught you that the glory of God consists of everything that makes God God his love his mercy his power he says that the knowledge of it the knowledge of his love the knowledge of his mercy the knowledge of his power the knowledge of his grace that it should cover the earth like waters the sea this is the reason why we need greater works to this end that the knowledge of the glory of the Lord would cover the earth as waters the sea. Isaiah 40 and verse 5. Isaiah 40 and verse 5. It says, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. If that will happen through your life, shout a loud amen. amen. And the glory of the Lord, keep it there please media. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. It says, and all flesh shall see it together all flesh european flesh american flesh asian people all flesh shall see it that means that revelation would not be hidden no it will not be boxed and hidden there are things that god is going to be doing through the church before he returns that it does not matter who loves god or who does not love god it will be widespread news that this is what jesus is doing testimonies and manifestations of his power in and through the saints and may you be part of that glorious army in the name of Jesus that as the wave of his spirit and power is sweeping across the nations that he will find a worthy vessel in you the glory of the Lord the love of the Lord the mercy of the Lord the power of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it Reminds me of an old song. From the rising of the sun, right on till it's going down, I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. I will sing of the mercies of the Lord. With my mouth will I make it known from the rising of the sun right on till it's going down i will sing of the mercies of the lord from the rising of the sun right on till it's going down i will sing of the glory of the lord from the rising of the sun right on till it's going down i will sing of the favor of the lord you see listen i was preaching earlier on for a dear friend this morning and one of the things that i was teaching god's people is that when the glory of the lord is revealed no one person is going to reveal every dimension of his glory because his glory is multifaceted there are those who have been mandated to reveal his favor there are those mandated to reveal his power. There are those mandated to reveal his creativity. While that grace comes from heaven, 
be sensitive to what dimension of God you pick. Jesus stood to grant them access to understanding the communion and he broke himself into many dimensions. Only God knows what dimension he gave you. There are people who have received his creativity. There are people who have received his healing power. Or a robot came and he said, my assignment is to reveal the healing power of Jesus to the nations. Full stop. That was his assignment. If you called him to teach on any other thing, he was a prosperous man. He knew how to walk by faith. Or a Roberts University today stands as a monument, a testament of a man's knowing God. And yet he believed that the theme of his life was to reveal the healing power of Jesus to the nations. When we talk about the knowledge of the glory of God covering the earth, ladies and gentlemen, hear me. If you do not rise and manifest in the spirit and in destiny, you will rob our world of seeing a dimension of God that has been hidden in you. Every book you are reading is the glory of God revealed. Are we together now? Every manifestation of his healing power is a dimension of his glory revealed. Imagine if I resisted the assignment God gave me. Only God knows how many salvations would have been aborted through that disobedience. And there are many people seated right now. There are various dimensions of God. We're going to sing that song one more time. Take it higher for me. Sing it with understanding in your spirit. And let it be from the depth of your heart that with my life with my mouth with everything i will make it known you may not have the opportunity to travel like billy graham and red hat bunker but that which he has committed unto you you must make up your mind that the nations will see the glory of god revealed in and through your life it may be through singing like our worship people and as you raise songs of worship the nations will learn god as you hear the sounds for some of you you are a kingdom financier a financial apostle you caught that dimension of god the nations are waiting there are evangelisms that cannot happen because you have refused to contend for kingdom wealth and supply that dimension of god i will sing of the mercies of the lord with my mouth will i make it known from the rising of the sun right on till it's going down i will sing of the mercies of the lord i will sing of the mercies of the lord with my mouth will i make it known from the rising of the sun Right on till it's going down I will sing of the mercies of the Lord From the rising From the rising of the sun Right on till it's going down I will sing of the mercies of the Lord I don't know what dimension you are going to be singing It is not only your voice that can sing your hands can sing his praises your wealth can sing his praises your mind can sing his praises in one minute declare the dimension you know he has given you to reveal for someone you are a revelation of the creativity of the Christ for another person you are a revelation of the power of Jesus take a minute and pray from the rising of the sun right on till it's going down i will sing of the glory of the lord i will sing of the power of the lord i will sing of the wisdom of the Lord I will sing of the favor of the Lord I will sing of the mercies of the Lord With my mouth will I make it known From the rising of the sun Right on till it's going down 
received the song by the Spirit years ago and every time I teach on this area I'm reminded of that song let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let the weight of your glory fall ah. let it cover all let the weight of your glory fall through my life. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. 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 I don't know, Lamb of God. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, let your kingdom reign in my life. Adonai, Adonai. Declaration from your spirit, Adonai. Listen, let your kingdom come. That's a prayer from a hungry generation. Let your kingdom come. Ah, let your kingdom come. Hey, let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come in and through my life. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Shabra Shabala Paruska friend of the Lekatosiata. Adonai, Lamb of God. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. King of kings, Lord of lords, let your kingdom reign in my life. 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 Pray it. Let your kingdom reign in my life. Let your kingdom reign in my life. Let your kingdom reign in my life. Beyond every other agenda. Shabrata kaparandos kafras kabelekos yata. Let your kingdom reign in my life. 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 Let your kingdom come. 
your kingdom come in my life let your kingdom rule let your kingdom rule Hear me, ladies and gentlemen. I assure you by the Spirit of the Living God that before Jesus returns, the nations will see a display of His grace once again. And the purpose of it will be nothing else, no glorification of self and the flesh, but that the knowledge of the glory of the Lord, the knowledge of the love of the Lord, it will be beyond one-on-one -on -one evangelism. It will be beyond just passing tracks as important as that is. It will be a wave, a tsunami of his power and his grace across the nations of the earth. One supernatural manifestation of his hand that will rattle the foundation of nations. This will happen by the Spirit and it will not just happen through men. It will not just happen through women it will happen also through children everybody says the spirit will be poured upon all flesh adult flesh child flesh educated flesh uneducated flesh elderly flesh young flesh men and women will access power in the spirit do you believe this this is what we call kingdom come it's an agenda that will never fail the jealousy of god is behind this agenda he would rather a nation perish than this agenda fail please be seated if you can in one minute my heart was stirred up every time we talk about the revelation of the glory of the lord it does something to my spirit because this is the focal point of the believers pursuit let your kingdom reign in my life 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 man of God God is speaking to you beyond building of churches he desires his kingdom to find expression beyond marketing of flesh and self he desires his kingdom to be established beyond koinonia beyond denominationalism he desires his kingdom to move past the barriers of denomination to move past it is even beyond the pulpit the revelation of the glory of god is beyond good preaching beyond greek and hebrew that he wants the entire strata of human experience and existence to experience everything that is contained in God. His wisdom, his power, his grace. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, as mighty as God is, he's counting on us. I told my dear people in Lagos that we have known the God who sends men, but we must know the men sent by God. The world is gradually coming into an appreciation of the fact that there is a God in heaven. But God is revealed when his men are revealed. We call it the reflection principle. Glorify now thy son that thy son may bring glory to you. God cannot be revealed in our generation when the men that are so called and anointed and furnished by him refuse to be revealed. The earnest expectation of creation, the Bible says, awaited the manifestation of the sons of God. Hallelujah. The goal of the greater work agenda is to see that the knowledge of the glory of God, that it fills the entire earth, drawing many to Jesus. John 4 48 Jesus was speaking and he said except ye see miraculous signs and wonders ye will not believe listen to me we live in a time we live in a dispensation where men will need to see a display of the glory of God in its entirety to believe men will not believe cheaply just because of some religious sentiments proposed by Christians 
gone are the days where people believe blindly their convictions need to be heightened through the display the manifestation of god's glory it says the greek seek for a sign except ye see miraculous signs and wonders ye will not believe i make reference again to john 20 30 the bible says and many other miracles did jesus john 20 30 in the presence of his disciples which were not recorded in this book 31 says but these are recorded written that ye might believe they are not just recorded to show that he's so powerful that jesus is the christ the son of god and that in believing you will have life hallelujah greater works will lead to greater conviction greater conviction will lead to greater salvation greater acknowledgement of christ in the world of men greater acknowledgement of the christ in the world of men when there is a display of greater works listen to me it will bring about greater conviction when there is greater conviction it will bring greater salvation in all its ramification and when there is greater salvation it will bring a greater acknowledgement of the christ in the world of men i'm reminded of daniel chapter 3 please give it to us from verse 28 i believe nebuchadnezzar by reason of the display of the glory of the lord fire not having authority and power over the three hebrew boys here was the conclusion of that matter he said Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve or worship any god except their own god. As a result, 29. Therefore, he says, I make a decree that every people, my goodness, can this happen in our world today that the president of a nation because of the manifestation of the power of God will be compelled to make a decree not a religious decree not a bias a, as a result of what God would have done in his life every people nation language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach Meshach and Abednego shall be cut in pieces what a decree and their houses shall be made a dunghill because there is no other God that can deliver after this manner. There is no other God that can deliver. I have seen many try to heal, but none can heal like Jesus. I have seen doctors do their best to manage patients, but how about the great physician that can heal without a surgery? Hallelujah. This is what God. I want to appreciate you as you have watched this message and listened to it. And I want you to pray from your heart. And I want you to believe God for the miracle that is going to manifest in you. And I want you to also share this message. And also, if you have not subscribed, subscribe to this channel that the Lord will richly bless you. Don't forget that we are preparing for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. If our Christianity only be on this earth, it will do us no good. That is why we are preparing and trying to use this medium to reach out to as many. So if you have not given your life to Christ, try to do so and live a faithful life and a winning life to the glory of God. May God keep you. May God bless you. As you have listened to his servant, Apostle Jesus Shama, God bless you.